coming at you with color commentary. Well, sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rashad coming at you with color commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Of course, we'll be talking about the great show Daredevil today. Man, it's so awesome on Netflix. Thank you for joining us live. When I can't see, I'm visually impaired right now, but I'm going to make it through. All my other senses have been improved right now. My hearing has been improved. My uh, my sense of smell has been... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I was saying that I was testing you. Why? Oh, Jesus. Oh, cut. <laughs> Forgive him, Father, he has said. Anyway, we're going into the great show again. This is Rashad, uh, owner and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing. Where we uh, provide music and instruments to marching bands all across the nation. And let's go ahead and get uh, Charlie Taylor on here. Chuck Taylor. What's up, guys? Charlie, where'd you go? What's up? How are you guys doing today? That doesn't sound like Charlie. <sighs> that sounds like... Let me borrow your jacket. Uh, no, how about you not borrow my jacket? Where is I'm Vanessa? <laughs> I'm going to talk like this the entire show. All right, I can't do this. Just because he talks so slow, but sounds so scary. But it's me, guys. Chuck Taylor here with Can Face Party Easy. Trying to do my little king kingpin impression. You know, he was magnificent. Uh, once again in Daredevil season two. Oh, you got the shades on Matt. That's right. You got the shades on Matt. All right, so Matt can still see us. But uh, yeah, we're gonna jump into this Daredevil. I can't wait. I, I well, I'll, I'll leave it for the reviews. All we'll right. see if I liked it or not. There you go. All right. So um, of course this is season three of Daredevil. Uh, so we ha Daredevil has been the most consistent show of all of the of the Netflix shows. We do like Luke Cage. The first season was was decent. The second yeah. season was the best show yeah, really on Netflix that, TV, period. If you don't agree with that, you're it, wrong, and you need to watch it out. again. Iron Fist was the worst show on, um, even when it got better. I don't know, Jessica Jones was pretty bad, too. It wasn't as bad. As, not the first season the second, wasn't The second season of Jessica Jones was pretty pretty bad. To me. <laughs> to me, it was bad. But yeah, Iron Fist 1 was horrible. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do agree that's the worst. I mean, Jessica Jones, I hated that, even though it was not horrible. I still hated her as a character. You know what I'm saying? The Iron Fist was very consistent. I mean, it was horrible first, and then it, got, it went from horrible to bad. So it was. It's not about Iron Fist. We know how crappy we talked about Iron Fist. We already. talked about we're that. So now we're gonna go. Oh, of course we got Punisher, which was a great. That's but awesome. we only had one season of that, so we'll see. But we're gonna talk about the show that started all season three of Daredevil. So we got seven minutes apiece. Uh, to talk about that, so I'm going to draw your attention over here to the Google Timer, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> so, Let me see that. All right. Let's go ahead and get moving here. So know we, we're doing this. likes or we're just doing everything? Uh, doing everything. All right. So this is by far the most complete show on Netflix. Um, I consider it to be one of the best, uh, if not the best, uh, Daredevil Netflix shows. Um, I really like season two because of Punisher, but this one they didn't need Punisher in this one. They had a lot of characters, a lot of new characters to um, to kind of get to know. Um, seeing the dilemma Daredevil was in at the beginning of the show, seeing mm -hmm. how broken he was, so kind of seeing him. <laughs> he was basically, pissed. he was broken. He was broken down. He didn't want to do nothing no more. He was pretty much feeling sorry for himself. Like the first mm -hmm. three, four episodes really <laughs> right. got into it. Um, so kind of seeing that him just change and and kind of build himself back up um, was was pretty fun to watch. Uh, they they had some great scenes in this in this show. They have a prison scene in here that is pretty. It's not as good as the um, Frank Castle no. prison scene, like when he's just like fighting for life, killing all the inmates, trying to trying to survive. He's mm. bloody all everything. It's not like that, but it's still really good. Um, you know, it is a little funny on sometimes because you see that they don't have endurance like Captain America <laughs> and some of the other superheroes. So it's like me and Rashad having a fight. Like after about two minutes, we're like, Ugh, I hate you. Yeah. Ugh. 
So there goes. He's pretty worn out after about he fights about three dudes. So, but the scene is really good because it stays. It's like a one consistent scene the whole time. Uh, they don't have any yeah. cuts or anything. So it's like you're just following him, getting thrown around by like guards and. And Ace trying to kill him. You don't know what's happening. The smoke and fire. Where do they get fire from in the in the in the prison? When they start throwing fire, I, little I fireballs. From, they're like, why? To me, I was like, why would I throw fireballs and I'm in a cage? Right. I'm not throwing fire. That's the last thing down. I'm going to throw some fireballs. But yeah, they, it was a crazy <laughs> scene. Like he went in there, um, as Foggy and. He almost died, and it was it was pretty good. It was it was very intense. So that was probably one of the top I'm scenes. Foggy didn't get arrested. Like uh, yeah, yeah. Foggy yeah. Nelson, you, you went into a prison and everything <laughs> went down. So everything went down. He came with us, yeah. But you know, Fist was running everything. So um, Kingpin, um, who's the, who, who's the guy that plays him? Uh, who knows? Uh, uh, D'Onofrio or something like that. That guy is awesome. He's like the best villain on Netflix. Um, Have you seen Full Metal Jacket before? Uh, I haven't seen this in a long time. So kind of you know the guy, the guy that's Craig Private Powell, the guy that shoots himself in the head. Yeah, the same that's guy. him. Yeah, same guy. Wow, he looks completely different. Right? <laughs> but yeah, he is awesome. Like, I mean, he's he's scary. Like, you never know William Fist. Like, what he has planned. Wilson, Wilson Fist. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Wilson Fist. Wilson. What he has planned. Like, he just manipulates everybody. FBI, mm-hmm. Daredevil, the city. The public, anybody, he's he's got plans on everybody. He got a whole. I mean, it's just it's he's just a great character. Like that's the type of villain you need um, in these type of movies. Mm-hmm. Something that's like kind of unmovable, almost like the, the the hero really has to go all or nothing to really kind of even have a chance. Exactly. It's like, it's like you know that time when you you bought that your favorite flavor ice cream and you were walking outside the store and then the guy with skateboard ran into you and you dropped your ice cream. That was Fisk. Okay. That's how elaborate uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, his plans are. <laughs> but you know, I guess the um, the FBI agent uh, Nadir. Nadir. Uh-huh. I really like how they brought him in because I was like, "Who is this dude? And why do we get to see his family and get no stuff? They must be going to have. He must be part of the main plan because we get to see all this background. I thought he was going to be the bullseye initially. I, I kind of did too, guys, but like, then I was oh, like, oh, "That's oh, not oh. him." So I was more like. Well, we'll see how how this plays out. So, but uh, is it Nadir? Is the name Nadir? Nadir. Uh-huh. Yeah, him and kind of seeing um, how Fist played him. It looks like he played him for a couple years now, just to get him in the position that you know he was willing to you know basically risk everything just to try to get some more money, get a promotion. He was desperate, and that's what Fist needs. He needs desperate desperate people, mm-hmm. and they he takes advantage of them. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy that played they end up turning to a. Uh, uh, the guy throws everything, kills everybody. Bullseye. Bullseye. Mm-hmm. Uh, de- uh, Poindexter. Dex- Poindexter. Right. Mm-hmm. He was an FBI agent. And he just like, I mean, he was so strange. But then you, it just, they took an episode or two to kind of really explain who he was, why he, how he became that type of way. You saw like he had a, a tough childhood and all the things. Like he was, he was definitely going through some things because those therapy sessions were were pretty rough. They were crucial, right? I was like, I killed some kittens with some rocks, and I felt good. I liked it. Mm-hmm. So, but seeing him in 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 Daredevil, he definitely you know changed took took it up a notch when he took on that mask of Daredevil because mm-hmm. he came right in there and just started killing people. Mm-hmm. So that was like, oh my gosh, he's like killing, like he just threw a stick into a lady's chest and <laughs> and broke the dude's neck. I'm like, oh, I didn't think he was actually going to kill people. So he just, it was pretty, I was I was, I was shocked on a lot of this. Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, Foggy, he did his thing. At first I didn't really like him again, but then like, okay, Foggy, he's, he's Mr. He Patriot. He's his hairstyle he's, though, yeah, so he's, he's a lot cooler. Yeah, he's cool enough, but he's like Mr. Patriot type dude, everything by the book. But you know, he... He he keeps a moral compass that everybody lack is lacking. So that's he true. he he's right. the one that keeps everybody grounded, and that's where he plays his role. Like, cause mm-hmm. without him, Matt's gonna be all defense, just killing people. Right. He'll be the next uh, bullseye out of just destroying people, mm-hmm. <laughs> breaking people next, being Punisher. And uh, you know, Karen, you know, she makes bad decisions. Have bad decisions yes, on does. this. Um, I, she's a tough girl, but she makes some bad decisions, and. They it costs it costs her, but it does give you um a little a lot more I guess of her background on why she is the way she is. So that I really enjoyed kind of not enjoyed but 
learning a little bit more about her. Mm-hmm. Now I don't understand why she's so, I guess, I don't really know how to say it, but <laughs> why she is the way she why is. Why she is the way she <laughs> is. That's the best way to describe it. Why she is the way she is. You you learn it definitely um, in there. But, I mean, I guess some of the bad things, I would say the first three episodes, you had to do it that way because it got broken down so bad. But they were a little slow. As but as yeah. usual, they got 13 episodes. They don't have to be fast on everything. So mm-hmm. they're a little slow, but they 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 help build up the rest of the show. Mm-hmm. So, you know, those are kind of like some of my main points. I really enjoyed the show. Uh, Daredevil season three was, I it was the best to me because I think Kingpin did even better than he did on his first stint with Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, he yeah, was definitely. even more of a, like, he had a white suit and everything, and he was, like, the mastermind. He was, like, in the first one, he had to build his way up to right, that. Right, exactly. So now we got to see him full kingpin, ruthless, destruction, all over the place. <laughs> just destroy the dude, FBI agents, kill their families, you uh, know, just walk, use him as their personal bodyguards, basically, right, walking exactly. in and out of buildings that he owns, mm-hmm. you know, paying, yeah, it, it, it was, he was a masterpiece. That mm-hmm. That really just took it up to the top. Mm-hmm. For me, what about you? Oh man, Mr. Daredevil, Mr. Daredevil. Let's see. Are you the fake Let me one? Go ahead and reset my timer here. So nine seconds. Nine seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so you took eight minutes. So I'll take the same time there, sir. Oh man, um, this was an amazing show. Uh, yes, I, I will say now that it is it is the best Marvel show, the best Marvel Netflix show. Um, even better than Luke Cage. Luke Cage took a second. It took a second to get going. Mm-hmm. And the the cliffhanger at the end of Luke Cage yeah, was that's, great. That's the only thing I would say about Luke Cage. Right. Like the cliffhanger at Luke Cage is like, whoa. Right. I need to see the next season. Right, yeah. But exactly. this one is like I feel good about this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if, if this show ended right after this and that that would be it, you know. But other than that, it did a much better job of giving us everything that we wanted to see in a superhero movie. The action scenes in this movie are so great. I mean, when you're talking about the, uh, let me see here, the prison fight scene that Charlie was talking about, that was awesome. Um, the scene, the scene, my bit, my favorite fight scene was the one that took place in the in the place where the the suits were made, and he had to fight. Uh, I don't know what dude was talking about. Which is like they're gonna kill Betsy, like that guy, <laughs> like you're fighting him, and Daredevil was hiding. In the he corner. was a beast, though. That he dude was, was like, beast, yeah. he, you see when when the squat came in, he like ran and like <laughs> grabbed dude's head, and, like slammed him into some boxes. I was like. Oh gosh, <laughs> he's legit. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, my dude was not playing around for Betsy. <laughs> no, Betsy. Betsy got. Never mind. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, but Daredevil he did his thing as well, so that was awesome. And then of course the fight between uh, Daredevil and um, the I guess a couple fights between. Well, I guess they fought three times. So the first fight between Daredevil and um, and your boy, what's his name? Bullseye yeah, in the bullseye. Uh, in the office. That was awesome. And I'm sure it was more annoying to Daredevil than anything. It's like, God, stop throwing things. It's like, it's like you were fighting your, your brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stop it. Quit like, it. You're right. Well, you were like, if you had a sister growing up and you had a fight with your, like, a tussle with your sister, all they do is get around, get someplace and just kick. And you can't get to them. It's like you just get kicked in the face and everything. It's like impossible to get over there to them, right? To tussle with them. So that's what he felt like to me. Like, he could look her up. Pop in the face. What was he throwing? Like he, was throwing, he threw like pieces of, of sticks, a little <laughs> like a trash can tops, right? Globes. Well, I mean, he's fine. Uh, he had a baseball. I think he had a baseball. He had something. He was throwing everything. Uh huh. I was kind of all around the corner. Like, oh, damn it! <laughs> how, how does this, some of this stuff even ricochet off of anything? <laughs> I'm like, the way you throwing this stuff, it should be going through the walls. <laughs> Ricocheting off stuff, killing people. And it's funny, man, because Daredevil took so many beatings in this in this season. He so started off getting beat. He didn't never get healed up. Like no. he was on like probably he needed a sensu beam. That's what he needed. <laughs> he needed a sensu beam at the beginning so he'd be ready to go. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we got God beat, bless him. listen. He got beat so bad, man. I was like, that's my hero, man. In the meantime, I think I had slept on my shoulder wrong. Uh, this morning, so I was like, "Man, you know, my shoulder hurts. I don't think I'm driving Uber to bike." <laughs> so, uh, take your shirt off. Was a little like tougher Wolverine, than me. <laughs> like Wolverine to slice them up, <laughs> right? Exactly. Oh man, um, so many things to like about this show. Um, there is definitely an oh my god scene. I won't spoil it for you, but it's a, it's an oh my god scene when they go over to the FBI. A lady's house. My God! I was like, I saw. I was like, oh my God! <laughs> like I did not see that. So yes, it was amazing. The cab scene was awesome. 
When yeah. your boy woke up in the cab. He woke up, he's like, so, slow down, slow down. It was like, uh, we're going to get you to your destination yeah. safely. Hudson <laughs> River, we're about to get you to. That was great. It was a nice little throwaway scene. It didn't make a yeah, big deal about it. Didn't. it. But uh, what was that? So they probably killed all dude that was waiting for him. Though. That's kind of sucks. Yeah. And then the um the coat the coat scene like let me get your jacket like Charlie was talking about at the beginning that was great yeah. uh, you get to see because at that point Kingpin had been real chill yeah he's chill the whole time that's a scary time it's like when he ain't got no emotions you know he about to kill somebody right exactly he's like thank you right could you could you spare some great pawn oh crap <laughs> <laughs> you know it's about to go down um I love Vanessa. Uh, she didn't show up until later, but how she was down for whatever. Like, any guy, ladies who are listening, like, she just spoke the magic words to him. I mean, any lady that is willing to, like, completely involve herself into your life like that, yeah. that's it. She like, was right or die for real. That's it. You she try, up, turn that on. You trying to figure out how to get a man to marry you? You see, he married her the next day. Yeah, the next day, he's like, <laughs> we get married tomorrow. Right, exactly. Like, I ain't letting that get away. She just executed a man for me. Right. <laughs> It turns me on. Right. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and him, did you see when he went to his closet, he had like 50 white suits? Mm -hmm. You know, they threw that in there because like everybody was like, why is he wearing the same clothes every day? Mm -hmm. Where I was like, you, you're free. You still have all white suits. So it was That's like, what he does. It was like that little, okay, this is what he, he wears this because right. this is the only thing he has that he's going to wear. That's all he's going to rock. So I got you. <laughs> uh, there were a couple things that were, that were imperfect for me, though. Um, I don't like Karen. Well, I like Karen, but she, like Charlie said, she does some dumb stuff sometimes. She kills people. Like her, <laughs> her decisions her kill and people. Foggy had a plan. They had a plan. And all she had to do was stick to the plan. But instead, what did she do? She went to con confront Kingpin herself. And because of that, she told Kingpin something that she shouldn't have told him. And because of that, Kingpin said Bullseye to go kill her, which stopped uh, Daredevil from making this show four episodes shorter. Yeah. I don't think that would have done it anyway. Devil, I'm sorry, man. He he ain't got it in him. He gonna just scream, oh, I can't do it. Right, exactly. Start punching the wall or something like exactly. that, Devil. And he's that, gonna, he's telling you like, at the end, like, he's like, I'm gonna kill all of them. I'm like, bro, he would, I would have ended him there. Right. <laughs> Let me, just, let, let's just be honest, y'all. I mean, Daredevil, this is a great show and all, but Punisher would have ended this, this is in two episodes. Really fast. You know what it's I mean? Crazy. It's like, oh, we can't kill, we can't kill. I mean, you made up a great point, like, before the show started, like, this whole deal about superheroes killing or not. But but you have superheroes who are still, we consider them golden still, like Iron Man. <laughs> he's Captain murdering America people. Has plenty Captain of bodies. America killing people. He kills so many people. I mean, he's Captain America. More right, No man's more right. Pow! Shield to the head. Shield to the head. And your neck's broken. He shot yeah. a lot of people in the Captain shot America. Yes, once. he did. He just comes up there and just mowing people down. So, even matter if they hide or not, they still humans. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? They ain't killing aliens. Uh, let me see here. Um, Agent, Agent Poindexter becoming Bullseye. I think that happened too fast to me. Like, I could see him turning to the dark side, like, really, really quick. Like, I like, I like that. But he's like, he's like um, hey, I want you to come with me. And I can see, like, hey, I want you to go kill this person. Okay, I got you with that. But instead, he's like, hey, I want you to go put on this suit <laughs> and run around and murder people dressed in this suit. Like, that just, that that seemed to be a little quick to me. Yeah. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? I, I, I guess it was like, to me, it was like they build up in s small increments of other episodes. Yeah. So he kind of saw it come. It's like when, they, when he first killed everybody, he kind of executed the uh, Albanians, mm -hmm. and they they had an investigation, and they kind of separated him from this, and they told him to get out of the room. So they kind of started chopping him down. Right, but then the, the next step should have been just sending him out there, just killing people regularly. You know what I mean? Just well, have him out there you, just snipe somebody. That, but or you learned about his um who he was when when um when Kingpin was reading about his all his cases, like he had this mm -hmm. case file, and he you had that whole episode to kind of see what how how crazy he is. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't have a stable person that he can attach to, mm. he gonna go off the rails. Right. So, so, so I think like when he when he did rails. when he did that whole synopsis, it was like okay, I really enjoyed that because I was like okay now I really understand mm -hmm. what Kingpin's about to do. 
I was like, Kingpin is a genius. Yes, sir. He is a supreme genius. One of my things I always want to be is 12 steps ahead of the guy that's 12 steps ahead of everybody else. And that is Kingpin. Yeah. Because, I mean, Foggy and um, the girl and Daredevil, they always thought that we got a plan and here's what's going to happen. And then, Nothing. just like with Foggy, man, like one of, the, one of the coolest parts is where he put up this plan to become the DA. He thought, oh, I'm untouchable. And he, man, had already put plans in place a year before to get to his family. Yeah. Not then. Make him a whole year before. Before. It sure was a year, it might have been a couple years. He, right. He probably he did just, say like a couple years yeah, our, our, our he suppliers got, dried up. Yep. And he, he cut all the loans off of them. Damn, and then they called him out the blue and they got they got his parents dirty. <laughs> got them riding dirty and they and they shout. Exactly, exactly. All right. So um let me see, we got some comments here. Warren says that I feel I have a feeling that uh Disney will pick up Iron Fist and Luke Cage. Next year is it good? Or is it good? Gone for good. So you want to go ahead and transition into yeah, yeah. Into Let's that? definitely jump into this uh, Luke Cage. Okay, uh, this talk. Luke Cage situation. Luke Cage. Real quick before you go, though, should people watch this show? Yes, yes. It's it's a must. Um, if you watch any Marvel Netflix, this is the um, you gotta you gotta watch this one. If you're gonna watch, my wife she didn't really watch any of my way through. She's hooked on this one, so. She's finishing this one up. It's, it's very intense. Mm -hmm. and you got a lot of characters that you can gravitate to that you'll just like to watch and see how they grow or decrease their roles in the uh, throughout the whole season. So yeah, I'm. I'm. This was definitely um, really good. I started watching it actually Sunday night around like I think it was like six after I watched my Panthers win. Come back to seventeen now. <laughs> oh, finally, okay. Yeah. Um, got jokes. Four and two, baby. Anyways, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I watched it. I started watching it at 6, and I just stayed up to like, 3 o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't turn it off. Uh -oh. Like, it wasn't like I was trying to watch it just for the show. I was like, I could not turn the darn show off. I'm uh -oh. like, this is really good. Nice. What's about to happen? I need to go to sleep. I got to go to work in the morning. But it's so good. That's this type of show. So definitely check it out. Mm. It's a great show, man. There's, there's no doubt about it. I, I really, really love it. If you can get, again, uh, for those new to the show, you got to get past. Netflix has this thing where you have to... The first couple episodes have to be a little on the slow side a little bit. Like, you know, Daredevil's got to mope around, and he's got to curse God feelings. a little bit, and, you know, oh, God. Doing his key -keys. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's exactly. definitely doing his key -keys. Jesus, you don't love, love me. me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he finally gets it together after Preacher gets murdered. <laughs> Oh, I see why it was a calling for me. Right, exactly. Like, your boy just died. Right, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, but it's a great show, and, and yes, I would definitely say it is the best uh, Marvel Netflix show. Uh, Luke Cage makes a close second, and then everything else is really beneath that. Yeah, and then Punisher is next. Stuff. Yeah, well, you, Punisher. Gotta, you gotta watch Punisher. Yeah, Punisher. I, yeah, I, Punisher. I definitely agree. It's one of the best. That was one of the fun. So, Luke Cage getting canceled. We can't let this happen, y'all. Listen, here, I, I think one of the reasons why there's no like real outcry about this, because I feel like a lot of people are upset about it, is because of this whole um, Disney um, streaming Stream situation. Service, yeah. So people are thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to be picked up and gone over to there. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. And I, don't think, I think we need to be clear with everybody. Disney hasn't said that's what's going to happen. No, Nobody has made a statement saying that's what's going to happen. I think that... Luke Cage is just gone, and it's gone for good. Uh, we checked out your boy, uh, Emergency... Uh, what is it called? Character Development. Who's, who's developed? It's called Character Devapopment. <laughs> we don't know what Character Devapopment what... is, uh, Kenny Miller. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks, Kenny, for letting us know about know Character Devapopment. Appreciate <laughs> that. Right. You come for us, make sure you yes. spell your words right. <laughs> Wait, Element... Yeah. <laughs> Dev Devment Department Development Department. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me see. As we're Dev popping to the next thing, um, yeah, I think that is 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 gone. Um, I was watching uh, one of your favorite shows on YouTube, uh, Emergency Awesome, and they were talking about that. It seems to be some creative differences between Disney and Netflix. You know, for, and that can make sense because, yeah. you know, the direction that Netflix is going with Luke Cage's character is not anything that I've seen mm -hmm. indicative of Luke Cage's character before. Um, also, with how much money that they want, it's like, you know, we were, you know we're big time now. Mm -hmm. We're paying too much. <laughs> he says, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But so anyway, we need we can't let this happen, man. We need to get Disney and Netflix to get their heads out their behinds and put Luke Cage back on the show again, man. Because what you, what you gonna do? I mean, I guess we you know, know you don't put the mask that. on. We'll take them down one by one. I'm going bulletproof, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot up, <laughs> right? I mean, it's, Luke Cage is a great show, and here's the thing. It would be different if Luke Cage season two ended like Daredevil season yeah. three just ended, it like which his, was which was yeah. it was lackluster. It, not it was bad as far as uh, Daredevil. It just it didn't leave you wanting like oh I gotta have more. But with like Luke Cage, you're like oh my god, like give me the next season now. And you're like you're so excited. You're living in comfort to know that the next season is coming, and now you're gonna pull this kind of crap on us. No, you need to at least give us two shows. <laughs> So we can see Luke Cage, you know, you really be think bad guy. You, do, you think they're going to not bring Luke Cage out? I don't believe him. I, I think, I, I think this is a plan by Disney. They got Hulu. They Bro, about. Do you know the president right now, man? Listen, we, don't, we don't always do what we want no more. They got, they you like money. They no like more. money, and Luke Cage has an audience, and it brings money. So Netflix, yeah, Netflix might not want to pay the money that they want. They may have had, they may have. Put the bid so high so Netflix would drop them so they can just say be the good guys like yeah hey come over here we're gonna put all the shows on our on our Hulu channel our our other Disney mm-hmm. streaming channel they own both of them they own everything so mm-hmm. yes it'll be a Disney place is for them the real kingpin yes Disney is the kingpin they done thought <laughs> like fifteen years in advance right so it'll be on the Hulu channel or one of the one of the streaming services they might do Heroes um with Heroes for Hire as I was hearing. Um, you don't think so? I don't want, I, I don't care if they, I don't care what, I think that'd be I cool. don't want to see it, is what I'm saying. Heck no, I don't want to see no Hero for Hire. I think Heroes for Hire would be cool. Give me the freaking, uh, what is it? Daughters of the Dragon. Bring back Luke Cage They can as have it some of that in there. And replace like, Iron Fist with Daughters of the Dragon. Which no, you I don't want to see 13 episodes Knight. of them. We can give them 10? No. 10 episodes of Misty Knight and, have them. and Colin Wynn. And why would you like that? I wouldn't want to see on the why whole show. Like, why would they you like are that? aggravating to me. They're, they're, really? Yes. Why? Missy be aggravating me all the time. <laughs> I'm like, Missy, guys, dang, just chill. <laughs> right. like, I know you need a man, but dang, everything <laughs> yeah, about you. Gosh, I always be running dude brothers down all the time. She be always dating on all dudes. <laughs> Until she wants some coffee. Right. Then she, then she all, all good for a second. But anyways, yeah, I think it's going to be on... Um, I say it'll be on Hulu. They'll probably do Heroes for Hire, and they'll probably throw in the uh, what? You, what, you, what were they called? The Daughters of the Dragon. Daughters of the Dragon in that intertwine that because they already started him, um, them on each other's shows anyway. Mm. Uh, so I, I definitely think that that's going to be down the road. And I mean, it's a popular show. Um, no reason Jessica Jones. I think is still there because they already did her season three. Right, so exactly. they would already had, they should have jumped on. Uh, well, I guess they couldn't jump on the season that right. That early because they had differences. They could have just they could have just canceled the show in the middle of making it. Like yeah, I know we're still I know this show is made, but we mm-hmm. need to cancel something. <laughs> we're trying to make trying to play hardball with Disney, trying to do something. But I don't know. I think it's gonna be. I think they'll they'll get it all worked out. We'll see Luke Cage at least get his third season and um, kind of give us a closing chapter um, on this. But they got so many shows coming out. I mean, they're gonna have Moon Knight. They're gonna have Ghost Rider. The Loki Who's, movie. What you see? Are oh, you talking about on Disney streaming? Oh, on all these different. I mean, all these streaming services. I don't know. Netflix ain't getting that. Well, your I boy. I, I know your Netflix. Your boy, Emergency Awesome. He says they ain't getting none yeah, of that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't give him none either. I mean, Disney's about to just destroy everybody. <laughs> like, I mean, that's what they they coming for your head. Mm-hmm. Disney's channel was to take everybody money, and they're gonna have all the shows. So just be prepared to to go dish out that fourteen fifteen dollars. <laughs> it's coming. But uh. So yeah, it's coming back, guys. Don't 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 be too, don't be too worried. Don't I do I disagree. Get, get off of the ledge. Listen, guys. Get off the if ledge. If we don't if we don't band together, if we don't band together, this is not coming back. How about how about we do this? How about we assume it's coming back, but we go ahead and protest anyway. Get up on get on uh, Twitter. Go on Facebook and Instagram and all those things go and say hashtag Bring Back Luke Cage. Bring back Luke. I mean, that's not too hard to ask, is it? Bring yeah. back Luke Cage. We can if they were going to bring it back, then it'll come back. You know, if they weren't going to bring it back, at least they'll know that we want it back. You know what I mean? Cause we need. We gotta have season three, bro. Season. Yeah, because I have to. I want you to hear this Netflix. 
I don't really care about any of your other shows. So other than Punisher. I mean, I'm saying like if Marvel, they start dropping the Marvel stuff. I'm not really gonna pay for their subscription out. I'm probably just gonna bootleg off somebody else that I know, <laughs> and that's gonna be a lot of us because mm-hmm. we don't have our shows anymore that we gotta look forward to every few months. So we'll just go do something else. Mm-hmm. A lot of the streaming services here, so go ahead and pay for it. <laughs> right, <laughs> y'all want to keep subscribers because they're gonna drop, especially the Daredevil goes somewhere. So, mm-hmm. but uh, let's say uh, what our last, I guess, topic wise is how does this? Well, which which series is the best? Like, how would you rank these series, Rashad? Okay. Let's see here. Well, at the very bottom is still Iron Fist um, for me. I mean, Even season, season two, season two? Season two was much better. But it's the it, but the thing about season two is the, the things that got better were everybody but the main character. The main character, as Thick called him in, in Defenders, he's still a thundering DA. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm trying to, re- I'm trying to figure out how in the world... Uh, when you have Daredevil, how can you not make a great Iron Fist? I mean, they're showing you how to do it. Just do the same thing that Daredevil does, but make him a better fighter. Instead, what they did was they made him a worse fighter, and he just goes for, oh, I'm getting beat up. Let me do the Iron Fist. Do Iron... So like, like, boom. Iron Fist would have never, like all the tri- trials and tribulation that your boy went through, he never would have made it. He would have been murdered so many, he would have been murdered in the prison scene <laughs> because he would have dropped the Iron Fist of the first three guys and then the prison guards would have come and beat him up. Because <laughs> he didn't have the fist no more. You know, you got to recharge the fist. Bullseye would have definitely been taking him out. Right, exactly. Because he didn't have no close, he doesn't have any close combat ability. You know, I mean, the Iron Fist only has so much range. So if if he's thirty feet away from you, throwing staples at you, <laughs> you know, yeah. you're done. You know what I mean? So Iron yeah, Fist is at the bottom. Not um, the lowest for you. What's his name? Uh, Jessica Jones is next, and Jessica Jones, I think, is a decent show, but I just don't like Jessica Jones as a character at all. I think she's just a butthole for no reason. She treats everybody around her like a jerk, like. All the time, and they've all had hard lives, as as you can see. Um, those two are definitely the bottom. Above that is, uh, let me see here. The next three are kind of close. <laughs> yeah, this is when it gets tough. Yeah, I, I put Punisher next because uh, Punisher Punisher's good. We haven't seen the second season of Punisher yet, so yeah. we don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Luke Cage is like, woo! It, it took a second to go, but by the time you get to that end, boy, man, the last like four episodes, bro. That's awesome. He and then now with Daredevil, Jones. Daredevil's definitely the most consistent Get show. Boy. He got just, you, he, I think he's listening from, from bottom. I think Jessica Jones is at, I don't know how, Can maybe it's a random list. Maybe it is. He's just putting up a random maybe list. Is. What it is, anyway. I'm not going to read into that. So that's me. So again, Iron Fist, uh, Jessica Jones, uh, Punisher, uh-huh. Luke Cage, Daredevil. That's the thing. What you got there? Okay. Chuck Taylor. Um... I'm going to have to say... I'm about, I'm about to, real quick, I'm about to make a mistake here. I'm about to tag Shelton okay. in, these, in these messages. I already oh, tagged, I already tagged Jones Ryan in there. For him. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm definitely going to say, uh, to me, Jessica Jones is, a, is the lowest for me. I guess I just, I don't know, I just, I, I always felt bored when I watched it. I was kind of like, oh, I'm kind of ready for this to be over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, to kind of see maybe they'll throw some Easter eggs. It was just, it wasn't... It didn't have enough for me. It, it was so much drama in it, um, and to me, her development stayed the same. She never, she never changes at all. No, like mm-hmm. she's the same character. She has no character. Yeah, she has no develop- character develop- the, the, the development. The development, <laughs> <laughs> none. She's the same person on everything that she's in. Right. So yeah, and I, the purple, the purple man wasn't it? It was a purple he man. He was good in the first season. He was good, but then they like brought him back with the second. I was like, okay, here's enough of him. Right. Like, exactly. Y'all can't get no other characters. And then with her mom being like a, a freaking wildebeest monster thing, like just jumping out, killing, ripping people, spies <laughs> off. I'm like, all right. I don't know. I, I, really, I wasn't really prepared for that. <laughs> I mean, that was fine until they took like a whole episode or they two. They took all the to episodes for her to kill people. She didn't have a villain, a good villain to me. Like, after, once the purple dude died, it was like she didn't have nobody on the second season. So that's what was lacking so much. But anyway, it's enough for Jeff Jones. So give him too much airtime anyway. <laughs> right. Um, third uh, would definitely be, I would say Iron Fist, just because the second season, I liked it better. Uh, That's the only reason I put it. I actually enjoyed most of the second season until like, some of the ending. I didn't really care for the 
guns, the, yes, the, the holy bullets they or whatever really they had going there. on. That you were that doing was, good. They were doing really good until that part. Right. I like the the villain on the on that one. Um, what was I, it? I feel uh, I feel like you like you're coaching a dude to talk to a girl or something like that. <laughs> you know, so you say this, say this. He's like, yeah, yeah, and then he says something he says like that. wrong. And then he he's just like, starts taking over. Like, no, right. don't do that. <laughs> no, this. She's like, oh, okay, She's this is weird, good. weird. Yeah. Right. But um, uh, what was it? What's the bad guy's name on there? Which uh, one? His brother from another mother, on uh. Iron Fist. Oh gosh, I forgot what his name. Red was. Fist. Right. Double we'll call him Red Fist. <laughs> Double Red. Fist. Double Red Fist. Like. <laughs> and so what's his Dope. name? Davos. 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 That's there you go. Good job. Davos was was I like Davos. He I, he had some development. He started at one place and he ended at a totally different place. He was like, oh, he is crazy now. He's just killing anybody. So yeah, I like I like how he just grew in the episodes. Yeah. And I would say. Punisher next, just because I haven't seen, they don't have a season two yet, mm. so I can't really put them on the same level as Daredevil and Luke Cage, just because I only saw them one time. Mm. But Punisher was really good. I really enjoyed it. It kind of seemed a little, little long, but they have thirteen episodes, so they had to build it some way. So they went the uh, PST, what's yeah, it? PTSD. PTSD. Mm. <laughs> I'm saying everything wrong. Yeah. But um, had the whole I guess back army type of plot going on with him, mm. you know, he was doing evil missions and everything, so, I, I like how they brought that in, um, I thought he, after he killed the mob people, I was kind of lost, I was like, what else is he gonna do? Right, exactly. It's like, he done killed everybody. Mm -hmm. That's how, that's how most of the, the Netflix shows would have been if he was on, he kills everybody at the beginning of all the seasons. Right. So, ain't no more bad guys, it's like, we just all looking at each other for eight, eight episodes. Right, I mean, the only way, the only way Punisher stays a great show is, is that he's got to fight somebody he doesn't really know who the yeah. bad guy is. Yeah, he, yeah, if, he, he knows, if he knows who you are, you're done. He's done, yeah. Right. He'll sit there and see his nursery rhyme and <laughs> destroy you. One batch, two <laughs> One batch, two batch. That's why, and that's why Punisher worked, because he never knew that his friend was like the main bad guy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. he, yep. But now he knows, so now I don't know knows. how to know the second season is going to work that much. And he knows that he set him up to kill his family. Yeah. So it's over. Right. There's nothing that's gonna happen with that. <laughs> and uh I say I say Luke Cage, I really like the first season of Luke Cage until the ending. Like last three episodes like, ah, why did y'all even bring the other guy in there? Like, y'all mm -hmm. were doing so good. And then y'all brought some dude with what's the uh Bushmaster? No, 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 it was no, Copperhead no. or something like that. The the last Diamondback. Diamondback. Yeah, yeah Diamondback. 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 Oh gosh. I hate the Diamondback. I'm like, why did they waste that? <laughs> they just wasted that. Maybe that Build that up for another time. Uh -huh. But, yeah. But the second season, I really enjoyed it. They ended on a strong, strong, very intense moments um, on those last three episodes. Bushmaster was a beast. And seeing his backstory, how he became like that. Mm -hmm. the, they they do a great job on develop, developing uh, the characters on all these Netflix, especially the villains now. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, as I was saying, Daredevil. I haven't had a bad season of Daredevil. Like, no. I haven't had anything bad in Daredevil. So, Daredevil is hit, hitting a 10 on every season. I would I don't, say 10. I, the, the middle of, of season two was kind of... With the bringing people back to life and the ninjas. Don't... The okay, the times when, when yeah. Kingpin <laughs> is not the main villain. Uh -huh. Like, the second one. That was what they like. Like, when they every time they try to do the stuff with the hand and the supernatural type stuff... They kind of like, you yeah, see that it's like, just stick with Kingpin, <laughs> right, exactly. you know, killing people's families and, you know, hiring people to you know, hit them with cars, all type of things. <laughs> Close the doors. Did, did you, um, oh, real quick, go jump back into that. Did you hear that comment that she said? The, uh, oh, Shelton's watching now. Shelton, what's oh, up, Shelton? Oh, it's about to be all Jessica right. Jones at the top. <laughs> Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is number one. Iron Fist number two. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Cage is horrible. <laughs> But real quick, you just see the agent, um, what was the head FBI agent, the girl that we didn't know that was Hadley. bad? Yes. When she said, I had two children once. Yes. I was like, oh gosh. <laughs> he made it look like a hit and run. I'm right. like, this dude is a monster. Right. He just killed your kids. Right. It made it look like it was an accident. Oh, it must have been a horrible King. accident. You have to protect your children. I would hate oh, you to look like you're crying a little bit. You have to I would hate to see protect anything you. happen to my family right. if I had one. Right, exactly. I wish my, my my thing is to protect my children, and if I only had one left, there's nothing I wouldn't do <laughs> in order to protect that one child. <laughs> uh, did you know that guy was a um, 
He played on, uh, what was it, uh, Vincent Jurassic did, World? Vincent D'Onofrio. He, he played on Jurassic World? Jurassic World, he the one got ate up by the raptor. Like, he was the one that was uh, trying to get the raptors to go hunt, hunt the, uh, use them as weapons. Uh-huh. He had hair on that when he wasn't okay. fat. But yeah, he got he ate up by the Raptors wow. on that. Every time I see him, I keep thinking the Raptor about to jump and get him. And mess his <laughs> suit up. But he probably would have beat the Raptor up, you know, in the Kingpin. He's like invincible <laughs> on this thing until uh Oh. It's a guy that kills everybody. Punisher. No. Dead yeah, uh, no Bullseye. The, bullseye. Uh, the bullseye gets some glass. Then he's not invincible anymore. Right. <laughs> the bullseye kills everybody yes, <laughs> with <sir>. anything. <laughs> with anything. So. <laughs> but that's my list. So what's your, so review it one more time. Review. All right, Jessica Jones, uh -huh. the lowest. Right. We got Iron Fist. Right. And then we got uh, Punisher, just because it's only one season. Right. We got Luke Cage, because the second season was magnificent mm -hmm. and it was great. Mm -hmm. And Daredevil hasn't missed at all in none, all three seasons. I'm I'm pretty sure we would agree that uh, Defenders would go above. Whatever the bottom two are, and below Punisher, would that be right? Yeah, I would give that just because it had everybody in it. I could deal with it for a season. Uh, Defenders had so much potential. They just had just... the wrong villains. They just yeah, had the wrong villains. villains were the weak. villains, the villains was the problem. They didn't go. They were the only problem. I mean, well, they peaked at episode four, like when they all fought together. Yeah, but just, I'm saying like they, they needed a kingpin type of villain, like yeah. somebody that was like untouchable, right? Type of thing. Like they had like. You know, the hand and everything. and Did they, like, throw one of the bad guys, like, in a trash can or something? Like, remember in the big fight in the fourth episode? Like, he's like, oh, he's a such and such. And he ended up, they beat him down, like, really fast, yeah. And they hit old Electro with cars and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was, it and then, and then of course, your boy was a thundering DA again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fist. Right, exactly. I gotta destroy the hand. The mortal, <laughs> the mortal weapon. So, uh, let me see here. Your man, Tony Nelson here, he says, uh, should they, it says, should Marvel throw big bucks at these guys and put them in a big movie? Yes. Marvel should definitely throw big bucks. Bu big bucks. Big bucks. Big bucks. <laughs> throw those at us, too. That's convincing. But, He's yes, they should this. definitely throw big bucks at us and put us in a movie. I think, I'm pretty much sure what he was trying to I say. I think he was talking about you know, I think he was talking about us guys. because Tony's a real fan of us. Put us in the movies. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate that. Appreciate man. that. I'm not there for Black Panther. Like, we call it forever. Uh, I'm inside. I kind of like. No, I kind of like having my 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 separate things. You know what I mean? They're not like, big enough. They could be. No, they couldn't. Why couldn't they? I, they're they're not a match. Like, even I remember I, I saw some of the clips of the uh, uh, the cast. They were talking about like who if they could get an Avenger to be on their show. Who would they get? And then they basically end up saying, like, yeah, they're too big. <laughs> they're too big for us. Like, I kind of like us being in our own little lane. Uh -huh. Like, we deal with our own little problems. Like, they're over fighting aliens and we're, we're fighting people in alleys. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> helping out the little guy. You know, I, I don't know. Daredevil would not survive. If he, I mean, you talking about super soul people would, like, he's fighting aliens and stuff. Mm. He's not going to make it. Well, real quick, on that note, episode 12, when he was in the van, Talking about this guy over here. Shoot here. <laughs> Shoot here. Great. <laughs> that was awesome. That was good. That was great. That was good. Using his senses. But you know, they just put Falcon in one of them. I mean, I guess he's like the ambassador. Falcon could do something. Like, yeah, bring Falcon in. He, he, Anthony Mackie could uh, use some more work. You know, he don't get that much play in uh, the exactly. Avengers. But no, I don't think I don't. I wouldn't want to see these characters in a, in a movie because I like having the the difference. Like that's why some people like the Fox movies, the Fox X Men movies, because they can see a different take on the Marvel characters. I don't. I want to see them. I want to see those characters in the Marvel movies. But these characters having the opportunity to see things done in a different way, I really like that. So I just want to see TV shows just bring Luke Cage back. Anything else, Tom? Hashtag bring Luke Cage. Hashtag bring hash cash hashtag. You know I get wrong words. Wrong hashtag words. bring Luke Cage back. Bring him back. And hashtag hashtag. Yeah, I can't. Okay? Why, I don't you know why, why, why I got bad words. Why some can't? caffeine in you? I, I'm just talking too fast. Is what it is. Well, watch I need to less caffeine. Like that's what all day. Let's see. Punisher has been on that top tier level. So why did you have uh, Jessica Jones on the top tier level, Candy? That's the question. You get Punisher up there. Anyway, we're not going to even debate him. We're talking about some Jessica Jones. Yeah. Punisher, I think I think I want to see how they do the next season of Punisher. Because they have to develop a 
a really good villain because he killed off all of the other guys. He didn't kill. He didn't kill off. He didn't the, kill his the main guy. The, his yeah, his friend. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Like he's not. He's like he's like a like a second or third tier. Like he's got to be working with somebody else to kind of really go to get Castle to me. I would think Castle could be able to take him. Pretty much myself. If he don't have an army, I don't think. I think Castle's pretty much gonna take him out in the I, first episode. I think what you're gonna have is sniper versus sniper. You know what I mean? That well, yeah, that's right. Cause yeah, oh boy, it's a sniper and everything. But I don't know. Jessica. So Kenny says that he likes Jessica Jones because he likes her. So he's just apparently he likes he's to see her walking guy. around in that little those little short pants, he I mean, like, those little he tight likes, pants that she has, likes, and uh, the jacket every day regardless of the temperature. He likes the the rough the rough necking. In all her episodes, she gets thrown and breaks everything in her house. <laughs> he likes those scenes in Jessica Jones. I got you, Kenny. I got you. I see you, bro. <laughs> I just um, completely stepped out of the opportunity to say anything <laughs> adult about that comment. Hey, <laughs> she does get she, uh, fights and stuff. Stuff always get thrown and broken in her house. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, that was fine. But, yeah. uh, but you know, when you're talking about people's necks and stuff, you know. The people's what? <laughs> But anyways, that's been our show. <laughs> Please make sure to uh, leave a comment here and tell us what you thought about it. Tell us uh, uh, if we were right. Tell us if we were wrong. Uh, Shelton. <laughs> Ryan. You know you guys are going to go ahead and spread those lies Brash, that you have bashes. there. <laughs> bashes. But you know, you can't, you can't avoid the truth. And uh, also, uh, make sure to uh, like us. Um, if you like the show, I already said leave a comment. And what else did they have to do, Charlie? Subscribe to survive. We can get to YouTube. There you go. This, of course, has been Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. And I'm, I'm really sorry. I, that must have been really hard for you. <laughs>